you about to hit up this Patron and step off to the spot. You down? Nah, man. I ain't messing with that. Why? Let me tell you why. When is that God in me? The God? What you talking about? When is that God in me? You said God? What? When is that God in me? God. You don't know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you. When is that God in me? Check this out. God. God. Let me break it down to you. God. Jesus taught us how to hold our head. That's why his blood bled red and made the curse dead. And instead, we're supposed to make sure that when we break bread, it's not by alcohol that we are led. We are led by the spirit. We obey, not just say we prove it. When we do it to the world, we say screw it. We go through it. Ain't nothing to it. Forget like it. We just do it. How we do it? And then we move it. Our feet to God. Beat all of him and none of me. Overcoming with the blood. Victory at his peak. Well, listen. God in me. Will it God in me? God. Will it God, God in me? God. 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 You know, you know, I don't know how God had me to make up that rap song right there. The beat, the lyrics, the rap. Everything that came with it, I got to tell you, how he did that was amazing. But hey, I'm Mr. Devil Slayer, and I am rocking on this station by myself today. My wife, she's taking a back, doing some things, and it's just me. But hey, the Lord has made it so that I can hold it down. You know, listen, let me, let me tell you guys something. When he equipped, when God equips you, right? You don't know just how much you can do when your back is up against the wall. You don't know how much you can do when it's just you and Holy Spirit. That's when he really shows out in your life. When you when you don't think that you just can't do it anymore when you when when it's just you alone because there's nobody else around that it's 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 you know you know you got people that's around you that won't help you right then you got people that's around you that want to help you but can't help you then you got people that just really can't help you when you're and you're on your own right and when you, and 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 when you're on your own who you know you know how that is i think i think everybody has faced that you know when when you had that moment of isolation where it's just you the four walls and god and that can be scary because, you know, when it's just you and there's nobody there to help you, you it's like, okay, unknown. And you have to have a guide with you through the unknown because you're going there, you're going there blind. It's like going into a tunnel with no light. You need a guide. And Holy Spirit is that guide. And the blood of Jesus has it that the Holy Spirit can be that guide. That we have a connection with Holy Spirit because of the sacrifice that Jesus made on that cross. So, beloved, what am, what am I saying to you? What is, what, what is Pastor Dwayne saying? What I'm saying to you is that when you think you're all alone. When you think that you don't amount, when you think that you don't count, if you've given your life to Christ, just know you are in the army of the almighty. You are in the comfort. You are in the you are in the the space of angels who are equipped to equip you. With all you need, with the power you need to get you through whatever has your back up against the wall, you're going to come out on top. You know why? Because you're going to put your faith in what that word says. And that word says that you're the head and not the tail. You are first and not last. You win. You have the victory. So I want everybody out there under the sound of my voice to say, I have the victory. Say it now. I have the victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, 
I'm Mr. Devil Slayer. Amen. And I'm on the Jerry Royce Positive Power 21 Radio Networks. I want to say what's up to Jerry. I want to say what's up to the whole uh, Positive Power 21 crew, the family, the listeners, um, everybody who is out there who supports us. And, you know, I want to I want to I want to come to you guys today and just um, <clears throat> bear all before you. Everything that's been going on, Amen. But you know what? Let's let's uh let, let's go to prayer first. How, let, let, can can we do that? Can we do that? Let's do that. Hallelujah, Heavenly Father. We just thank you. We just thank you for a blessed Monday. We thank you for getting us through a blessed week. We thank you for blessing us. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that has blessed us from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet in every area of our lives with our family members. Hallelujah. We thank you that the blood has broken the generational curses, has broken bondage. Hallelujah. Has broken the yokes from around our necks, Father. Hallelujah. We thank you that the blood has made us free, Father God. Hallelujah. We just thank you. Thank you. Thank you that today is the best day, the most blessed day that you have made in Christ Yeshua, the Messiah, Jesus, King of King and Lord of Lords, mighty and precious name. Amen. And hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the fans that are uh, that, that, that are listening on the line. Thank you for the, the individuals that you bring to us to help support us. Hallelujah. Thank you that even though we might feel that we're alone, you're a God that has never left us, never forsaken us, never let us fall by the wayside, even when we're looking at the wayside right in our face. Hallelujah. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that is the comforter. Hallelujah. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who is our guide. Hallelujah. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who gets us to every uh, situation that we wind up putting ourselves in. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that has given us the armor of God, the, uh, the, the, the shield of faith to quench the fiery darts of the evil one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for giving us the spirit, the spirit to, to hurl back at Satan. Hallelujah. And to, uh, who, who, who uh, we have the, the, the power to uh, behead Satan and, and crush mountains. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm. I'm going in to praise y'all. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. If I can't, mm, I can only tell y'all of the the wonderful things that God has done and how He has gotten me and my wife out of so so many issues. It is unbelievable, and I know that there's a mighty work that um, God still has in us. You know, so so. Let me, let me let me open up with James one seventeen. Let me let me just open up with that before we continue on because oh man, it's just it's just a great thing that God is doing. So you know, get out your pens, your pads, your Bibles, your iPhones, your uh, Androids, your iPads, and let, let, let's get to writing. We're gonna, we're gonna go in today and just and just and and you know, um, we're gonna give thanks. We're gonna we're gonna give thanks. Okay, how do you how do you get through the turmoil? How do you get through the issues? How do you get through the temptation? You got to give thanks. Huh? Let me say that again. You got to give thanks. Whatever you're going through right now, I want you to say, I thank you, God, for life. Say it. I thank you, God, for life. Amen. See, if he's giving you life, then you better be. You better know that he's going to get through out of any situation, whether you caused it or not, whether it was Satan that caused it or not, whether it was Pookie and Dookie in them or not, whether it was just life or not, God is going to get you through. If you woke up, then he's going to get you through. So that's why you got to give him thanks because you know that he's bringing you through. James 1.17 says, Every good and perfect gift is from above. Your life is a gift. Blessings is a gift. And guess what? It is good. It is good, beloved. I don't care what you're going through. I want you to say, my life is good. Say it. My life is good. And so I want you to say, I want you to say my health is good. 
Now I want you to say, my family is good. Now say, my finances are good. Now I want you to say, my job is good. Now say this, my business is good. Now say this, my status is good with God. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights. I want you to look outside, okay? It's still light in some parts of the world, but I want you to look outside, beloved. And I want you to look up at the stars. Those are the heavenly lights. Now, if you can look out above the heavenly lights, if you can look out above the stars, I want you to picture in your head heaven and what it looks like. Huh? That's the, that's the, that's the beauty of where God, that's where God wants you to look. He is the father of the heavens and he wants you to look up in the heavens and know that your victory is in heaven and that you could bring it down to earth. Whatever you believe is the victory, then that's what you can have. As long as it lines up with the, with the word of God now. So God, let me tell you something. God is not going to put you out there in the corner with the G-Packs talking about, I got the victory. <laughs> that, that's, that's not going to happen. That's not the victory. That's not the victory. No, 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 no. What's the victory is, is when you've been falsely accused of something and everybody's coming against you. You got to know that you have the victory and it's good in God's eyes. You got the victory. When, 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 when Satan is coming against you and says that you got that sickness that's irreversible, you know, you, you know that God got you and he's going to pull you out. You have the victory over sickness, huh? When, 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 when they, when, when they, all coming against you when when you got your landlord coming against you, when you got the neighbors coming against you, when you got your own family members coming against you, you got to know that you still have the victory. In fact, this is what I'm going to go. I'm going to say when you are being maligned, persecuted, uh, accosted by by demons or whatever the case, when they come in at you, you best believe you doing something right. In the spirit, you best believe you're doing something right for individuals, for people. I'm going to tell you something. Satan and our own stinking thinking has railroaded us from doing the things that we have to do when the Lord has tried to railroad us. Even our own stinking thinking has tried to. Satan has come against our finances. It has come against our body. It has come against our physicals. It it, it, it just on a rampage, thinking that it could break us out of the victory that we know that we have. When you Well, when you remind yourself of what James 1 Verse 17 says, it says, every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father, heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. That means that whatever is coming from God is going to come and nothing is going to stop it. And whatever God has made you out to do, it is going to be accomplished. In fact, I'm going to go out on the limb and say the only thing that can stop you is yourself. That's it. That's it. The reason why every good and perfect gift is from above is because in First Chronicles 16, verse 34, it says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. <laughs> he is good. That's why every good and perfect gift is from above. That's why it's from above. Not only is he good, but it goes further in Scripture to say, his steadfast love endures forever. Remember, it says in James 1 verse 17 that he does not change like shifting shadows. 
So that means that his love endures forever. His steadfast, that's the key word for it. Steadfast means to not change, to stay focused upon. God has given me the definition of these things. Steadfast is to remain focused on. God is the God is the God of, of focusability. He stays on you. And, and guess what? His love endures forever. His good and perfect love endures forever. God is great. I want, can you say that God is great? Can you say that God is great? Hallelujah. It's time to give God praise through thanks. It's time to give God praise through thanks. Just say, I thank you, God. And now, let's go to Hebrews 12, verse 28. I'm taking you somewhere. Hebrews 12, verse 28 says, Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, there we go again. That cannot be shaken. Remember, he does not change. Why? Because he's steadfast. That's what steadfast means. It cannot be shaken. Do you see how scripture is leading? It, it, it's just leading. It's one after another. It's reminding you of the love, of the good and perfect love that comes from above, that comes from our Father. It's steadfast. It cannot be shaken. It endures forever. Ever. It doesn't shift like shadows. Huh? It doesn't shift. Huh? Look what it says. Look what it says. Look, look what it says now. Remember when I said this is, we're going to give thanks. This is what it says. It says, it says, let us be thankful. That's all we got to do. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful. We will not be shaken. We will not be shaken. We will not be shaken. Hallelujah. Let us be thankful. And so worship God acceptably with the reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. A Holy Spirit fire. We will not be shaken. Hallelujah. So let us be thankful. Now say it. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We praise your name, Lord. We praise your name. Hallelujah. We praise him through singing. We praise him through giving thanks. We praise him with open arms. Hallelujah. Psalms 95, not, not, was not Psalms 95 verse 1 through 5 says, Oh, come. Let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout. What is, what is this verse saying? This verse is saying, let yourself go. Do, no matter what, let yourself go. Look, today is the day that the Lord has made. Look what it says. It says here, let us shout joyfully to the rock for our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanks giving so let's give thanks to him what does it say it says let us shout joyfully to him with psalms for the lord is what is the great god and the great king above all gods you see what happens is that the people that listen, that's listening to the sound of my voice they're going through issues they're going through issues and i feel for you you know, and we always come on and we talk about what God has done for us and all the goodness and things and how he delivered us from COVID and how and how he got us out of the devil's snare and how he how he made our relationships better with people and how he how, how we got that uh that grant and how we was able to open a business and so forth and so on. But beloved, I want you to I want you to keep a compassionate, open hearted mind to understand that there's a lot of individuals that didn't make it. There's a lot of individuals that are dead. There are a lot of individuals that can't pay their mortgage. There are a lot of individuals who are on, on a 29th floor of a, of a tall building contemplating jumping. There is a soul right now that's being bullied that, that's Looking to take their lives. There's a nine-year-old that's playing the blackout game right now. That's about to lose their life. There's an there's a parent right now that is being stalked. 
by the children's, by the 18 and 19 year olds' children's enemies that are out there in the streets. So they, they, they want revenge. So they're taking it out on their parents. They're taking it out on their enemy's parents for retribution, for something that happened earlier. There are, there are wives and girlfriends who are being, who, are, who have, uh, who have um, death warrants signed on the streets against them from the streets because their boyfriends or their husbands are in some dirty business out in the streets and now they got they got contracts on their heads there are people that's on the run right now from the law there are people in prison there are people who are being raped in prison there are women that's being raped in the armed forces there are people that's being pillaged right now in other lands just because of their religion. There are people that's not waking up because they're sleeping out in the streets, homeless, and don't have nothing to eat. These are the people that we have to look out for. So we have to give thanks that we're not in their situation. We have to give thanks that God is putting us in a better situation to help them. Just because God loves us and he wants us to help the people that he created and he wants them to come to Christ and he needs you. So God gave us these scriptures to remind us of the greatness of he who saved us because we were in their positions at some point in time and there was somebody that was praying for us there was somebody who planted a seed in us that said Jesus loves you when we thought that Jesus was a farce when we thought that Jesus wasn't real because we thought that our situations was realer than Jesus when we were shucking and jiving, when we was whining and dining, when we was uh, 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 playing and slaying and delaying the inevitable of coming to Jesus. There was that old lady that always told you, yeah, come on, come on to Jesus. He loves you. And we used to run away from her. Huh? There's that old man that used to come talk to you when you wanted to go hang out or do something wild in the street and he stopped you off from doing it by talking to you about Christ. And you was like, yes, yes, Mr. Jones. Yes, Mr. Jones. And then you had to stay there. Then he invited you to church that you never went. Right? They were planting seeds in you. So, so what am I saying? What am I saying? What is Mr. Devil Slay saying? What I'm saying is, is that the scriptures remind us the same way that those old folk were reminding us of Jesus. It reminds us of the greatness of God so that we can share this greatness, the good news of the gospel with others. So what it's saying in Psalm 95, it says, For the Lord is the great God and the great King above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands formed the dry land, the land that you walk on. So what does it say? It's telling us to sing to the Lord, to praise him. In Philippians 4, verse 4 to 7, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Why? Why? Because he made the very land that you walk on. Why? Because he loves you with the undying, unquenchable love that endures forever because he's steadfast and it's never shaken. He doesn't shift like the shadows. And what does it say in Philippians 4? It says rejoice in the Lord always. You see, when you're going through it, God wants you to rejoice. It doesn't say, it doesn't say rejoice in the Lord when uh, all the good things is happening. It's saying rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. Okay, I'm gonna be frank with you. I'm gonna be. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna be frank with you. I, me and my wife, we had an argument, and I was upset at her, and she was upset at me. Okay, but she had to go off and do some things. So I'm still here doing the radio show, right? As I'm as I'm reading these scriptures to you, okay, I'm I'm feeling ecstatic. I'm feeling mighty. I'm feeling 
I'm feeling like a weight has just been lifted off of my shoulders because I wasn't the happiest camper to have to do the radio show. I didn't want to do the radio show, but I have a ministry. Okay, we God has blessed us with this ministry. So as long as I have breath, and that's going to be for a long, 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 long time, 7,000 long time on this earth. Okay. Hey, he's going to, he's going to, he has equipped me with this word to rejoice. So it says here, rejoice in the Lord always. So, so that means always, that means do everything, do anything. Why? Because when you start to rejoice, it starts to lift burdens off of you. It starts to remove yokes off of you. It starts to break the chains. Huh? I had a, I, I had a, I had a, um, what, is it, what can I say? I had a chain, a chain of, of, uh, a weight, a heavy weight on me. Because I don't like arguing. You know, so I had a weight on, on me. So now that I'm rejoicing, I'm like, I'm good. All right, I'm good. Glory to God. I, I, I done, I done um, encouraged myself with the word. That's what the word will do. The word will lift you up. And that's why you got to run to the word. So let's read that over again. It says rejoice in the Lord always. Somebody say rejoice. Rejoice. Say Now say, I will rejoice. Yeah, rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. So what is this reminding me? This reminded me, okay, you know, when I'm around my wife, let me be gentle. Let me be gentle so that I don't have to, you know, get into a little debate with her. Let me be gentle. So next time I remember, be gentle. Next time when I feel like I'm going to argue with my wife, I'm going to read Philippians 4. Philippians 4, verse 4 to 7. That's what that means. That's what the scripture is for. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and what? Petition, right? And then what it says? With thanksgiving. Present your request to God. The peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ. Psalms 118 verse 24 says, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be what? Be glad in it. It doesn't say be glad in it when you're going through it. Or, or, or unless you're going through it. It doesn't say be glad in it only unless you're, 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 you're in a bad situation. It says let us rejoice and be glad in it. It's giving us a commission. It is giving us, uh, what's the word? Help me, Holy Spirit. It is giving us a commandment. This is what it's telling us. It's commanding us to rejoice in our worst situations. See, because remember, when it removes yokes, it also makes way for God to implant in you what you can do to get out of the situation. If I'm rejoicing in the Lord, then it is then this word is going to help me not to, you know, get into little debates with my wife. That's gonna leave me upset. Huh? That's what that's what it does. So, so, so I'm being transparent with you guys, right? So let me be more transparent with you guys. We were going ever since ever since we got hit with COVID, which was what, about a month or two ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in June, we got hit with COVID. Man, this little sneaky sidewinder's been coming at us like crazy. But now, do it all, do it all of going back to God, of laboring to get into a place of rest with the Lord. Okay? Christ has shown through Holy Spirit has shown through. We've been going the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit has guided people to help us with our um, shortcomings that we've had since um, I got fired from my job for having COVID. Huh? Then when Kia, uh, my wife, when she caught COVID, the job was acting funny towards her and the Lord has seen us through good, good and grateful people have stepped up to help us pay um, the, the, the church bills, help us to pay our own personal bills. And all they did was say to us, I got you what you need. It was like, really? 
just paying it. And whatever the bill that was, we either got it paid for or we called the company and explained to them our issues. And they said, don't even worry about it. They just ate it up. They just ate up the bills. It's like, it's like everything God just, God just looked out. God just looked out for us so that we never had to worry. We never had to worry. We, I personally had the labor to get into a place of peace with God. In, Coloss- in Colossians, uh, 3, Colossians 3, it says, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. I think that's verse 15. It says, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as members of one body, you were called to peace. And what does it say? Come on now, be giving thanks. What does it say? And be thankful. Be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, through hymns and songs from the spirit. It's got to be with your spirit, man, beloved. It can't be fake. It can't be phony. So it says here, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. You sing to God with gratitude. You praise God with gratitude in your heart because that's where the Holy Spirit is. You can't be phony about it. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father, through him. How could anybody say that the Bible is phony? That's what I want to know. That's the, that's, that's the snake's job to make you think that the Bible is phony so you don't read it, so you don't come to it and find out just how much God loves you and just how much you can be at peace. Beloved, I want you to say, if you're going through pain, if the doctor gave you a bad report, if he gave you some medicine that you weren't supposed to have that's making your body go out of whack, I want you to rest in peace. I want you to say, I'm at peace. Please say it again. I'm at peace. Now say, I'm at peace with Christ. Say it. I'm at peace with Christ. I'm at peace with knowing that I have perfect health. I'm at peace with knowing that I have perfect health. Now say this. For anybody who's going through problems that's causing you confusion, that is causing you chaos, I want you to say this. I'm at peace with knowing that I have the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God. Therefore, I have perfect knowledge and understanding of every situation that I go through. Now say this, confusion be gone. And now say this, chaos be gone. First Chronicles 23 verse 13 says, Now, therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. Can somebody can can somebody just give God praise right now? We praise your name, Father God, hallelujah. We lift your name up to the rafters, Father God, hallelujah. We thank you that you are our God. We thank you that you are the only God. We thank you that you're a sovereign God. We thank you that you're an omnipotent God, hallelujah. We thank you, God, for being Jehovah Jireh, our provider, hallelujah. We thank you, God, for, for, for getting us out. When we were in trouble, hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for making us healthy, hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for making us wise, hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. We thank you. We praise your name. We praise your name, Father God. Anybody under the sound of my voice, Father God, I thank you, Father, that you filled them with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that they speak your name, Father God, that they speak to each other in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, Father God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that they make a melody that is 
sweet to your ears, Father God. So it is a sweet and lasting aroma, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. We praise your name. We praise your name on high. So we thank you, Father God, for getting us out of the pit and leading us right to the pulpit. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that whoever's listening right now that they that a miracle is done in them father god that a miracle is done around them father god hallelujah i thank you father god that you're taking satan's grip off of them father god hallelujah i thank you father god that generational curses are broken in this day and time father god hallelujah i thank you father god that you make anybody who was isolated come into the 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 sanctity of the brothers and the sisters father god where they can be lifted up on high father god hallelujah i thank you father god that any words of death that was spoken against them father god hallelujah that death has no snare over them anymore hallelujah that they are free hallelujah because jesus took the key the 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 the, the keys of death hallelujah away father god hallelujah hallelujah yeah, yeah a special prayer for those that uh that, that are burdened with witchcraft. Hallelujah. We call witchcraft dead, uh, 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 and, 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 and broken from around you, Father God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that the sorcery that, uh, that bewitched you has been broken. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that the, the voodoo that was weighing you down. Hallelujah. That has been lifted up off of you. Hallelujah. I thank you for the pressure of bills and debt being released off of you right now. Now in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, I thank you, Father God, that whatever uh, uh, is trying to impress upon uh, a, a person's skin or body, hallelujah, any lesions are, are destroyed right now, Father God, hallelujah, anything that tries to penetrate uh, 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 the armor of God, uh, uh, the person's body or the skin, hallelujah, dies on contact right now, hallelujah, because of the head of protection that you are placed around individuals, hallelujah, and we just thank you, Father God, that all is well in their lives, Father God, hallelujah. I thank you that parents of the parent, the children of uh, parents are at peace, but knowing that their children are, are at peace as well. Hallelujah. I thank you if they're acting like hellcats, Father God, that they start acting like holy people, Father God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that, um, uh, gangs disperse. The gangs that's out there on the streets that they disperse, hallelujah, and they and they start uh, uh, doing things legally, hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that um, uh, drug dealers and drug users stop using drugs, hallelujah, and it becomes a distaste in their mouth that they no longer have a taste for drugs or alcohol, Father God, hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that um, the adulterers and the fornicators stop being tempted, Father God, hallelujah. I thank you that they uh, uh, they reverence you on high, Father God, and that they stop uh, uh, being tempted, Father, and start to live loyal, loyal lives to their husbands and their wives, Father God, hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that you have taken the tear out of the church, hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that you've taken Satan out of politics, hallelujah. I thank you that you have taken Satan out of out of the hospitals, hallelujah. I thank you that you have taken Satan out of in the insurance scams, hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that you take Satan out of racism and destroy racism, destroy biasness, hallelujah. Destroy politics, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that uh, uh, mothers start being responsible Responsible when they find out they're pregnant and having the babies, Hallelujah! I, I thank you, Father God, that you that that uh, you stop the rapists from raping individuals. You stop the incest from 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 causing incest in individuals. Hallelujah! Um, uh, we thank you, Father God, that you are protecting the children. Hallelujah! I thank you that you send bold, strong, God fearing women to uh, protect, women and men. Uh, 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 to right the wrongs in the household, hallelujah, so that the divine order uh, uh, is reshaped and reformed uh, in the household, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you that the, that leaders are uh, being led by Holy Spirit now, hallelujah, that wicked men and women in government are being tossed out of government and that uh, all over the world and that 
God-fearing, good and honest and loyal, God-fearing uh, 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 politicians and governmental officials are placed in their stead and are doing the right thing for the people, by the people, because Christ and Holy Spirit is guiding them in the name of Jesus. And we give you thanks we give you thanks for it all. Hallelujah. In Psalms 107 verse 1 to 3, it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. In Jesus' name, we praise your name, Father God. Hallelujah. For his steadfast love endures forever. So I'm going to go out on the limb and say, For his steadfast church endures forever. Ever. Hallelujah. For a steadfast saints endure forever. Hallelujah. For a steadfast pastors endure forever. Hallelujah. For a steadfast congregants endure forever. For his steadfast body of Christ endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom he has redeemed from trouble, from lack, from bills, from a positive doctor's report, from lawyers, from jail, hallelujah, hallelujah, that he has redeemed from the curse of bondage, hallelujah, that he has redeemed from chains, hallelujah, who has he's redeemed from persecution, hallelujah, who he has redeemed from stress and strife, hallelujah, who he has redeemed from disease and viruses and STDs, hallelujah, for who he has redeemed from uh, uh, corona, cancer, AIDS, hallelujah, who he has redeemed from low blood pressure, pressure, high blood pressure, who he has redeemed from high cholesterol, uh, uh, who he has redeemed from aneurysms, hallelujah, he has redeemed from heart uh, strokes, hallelujah, who he has redeemed, hallelujah, hallelujah, let the, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, hallelujah, who he has redeemed from trouble and gathered in from the lands, from the east, and from the west, from the north, and from the south. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God, and we praise your name on high. Hallelujah. We thank you. For, I thank you for the spiritual explosion that you just uh, gave to me to give to the people. And let me be frank and honest, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know what I was going to come on and talk about with you guys because it came off such a long weekend, you know. So I'm just grateful to God, and I hope that you're grateful too. And guess what? It's come to that time where you can accept Jesus into your life so that you can understand what being thankful or being grateful and praising his name is all about so you can get this steadfast love too. You ready? All you got to do is repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I am a sinner and I don't want to sin anymore. I recognize that Christ sacrificed his life on the cross for me, for my sins, for my issues, for my problems, for my iniquities, for my injuries. For my guilt and for my shame. I want Christ to come into my life now to shape me, hold me, and mold me for what you, God, want me to be. And I make a 180 degree change to do what you want me to do, which means I repent. Of all my sins. In Christ Yeshua Jesus. Yeshua the Messiah. Jesus King of King and Lord of Lords. Mighty name. Amen. If you said that prayer. Then you. Are now. Blessed. You're blessed. And you're blameless. And you're walking. In the mighty army. The mighty family of God. Welcome. Hallelujah. Welcome. And welcome again. Hey, listen, if you want to know more about how you can uh, 
learn scripture more, get closer to the Holy Spirit, just reach out to us because we love you and we love to help to, to train you and just teach you what it means to be in this mighty army. You find out what your calling is and then you're going to find out just how much you're blessed with favor and blessings. Your life is about to change, beloved. Hallelujah. Reach out to us at UFL Ministries, I-N-T-L at gmail.com. UFL Ministries, I-N-T-L at gmail.com. And um, it's time that we go. Amen. Second Corinthians 9.15. Let's leave out with that. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift of salvation. And you have it now. Hallelujah. Okay, guys, we're going to go now. We love you. And only God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit love you more. And the mortal words of my wife, child for now. And that's right. Hey, yo, Becky, we about to hit up this patrol and step off to the spot. You down? Nah, man, I ain't messing with that. Why? Let me tell you why. When it's that God and me. The God? What you talking about? When it's that God and me. You say God? What? When it's that God and me. God. You don't know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you. When it's that God and me. Check this out. God. God. Let me break it down to you. God. Jesus taught us how to hold our head. That's why his blood bled red and made the curse dead. And instead, we're supposed to make sure that when we break bread, it's not by alcohol that we are led. We are led by the spirit. We obey, not just say we prove it. When we do it to the world, we say screw it. We go through it. Ain't nothing to it. But get lucky. We just do it how we do it. And then, then we move it. Our feet to God. Beat all of him and none of me. Overcoming with the blood. Victory at his peak. Well, listen. Will it step God in me? Will it step God in me? God. Will it step God in me? God. 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 How can we love others if we're destroying our bodies? And just in poisons, popping pills in the party. Sonny Judge. You are listening to Gary Sly Worldwide Podcast.